In the last lesson, we saw how to test to see that our JDBC driver works. Now we're going to test to see that the driver can actually connect to the database. So we're going to start a new program. We're going to call it connect to db.java. First thing we do is import the SQL classes that we need. First thing we have to do is create what's called a connection object. And we'll call it CONN. And initially we will set it to null, but we need to put it where it is as null because we're going to put the rest of the statements inside a try catch. So we want to make sure the connection object is at a global enough scope that we can work with it in try catch and finally. So the first thing we do is we create a variable to store the username. I'll use my username into my MySQL system in Macmillan. I don't use a password, so we're going to set that to null. On your system, if you have a password, you should use it. You have to use it, actually. Now we create a URL that will represent our machine. So JDBC colon MySQL, that's standard, colon slash slash localhost. If you're connecting to the machine you're on, which I'm doing, then you'll put localhost. And then test is the name of the database. So if you're using a different database name, you'll change that right there, test. Next, we create an instance of the driver. Now we do our connection. And if it works, then we'll write out a short message. If we have a problem, then an exception will be thrown. So we'll just print out a message that we cannot connect to the database. And then we'll also have a finally block that if our connection is not equal to null, then we want to close the connection. This is something you should always get in a habit of doing. And then we'll write out a message saying that we've closed the connection. Otherwise, we're just going to write out a message that says that we can't close the connection, which is a big problem. And notice I capitalized the C there, so let me fix that real quick. So close the if, close the finally, close void main, and close the class. So we'll save our file, then we'll compile, and our database connection was successful, and then we also successfully closed. So this is how you connect initially to a MySQL database using Java. And now we're ready to move to the next lesson where we're going to look at how to create queries to retrieve data from a table.